What's up everyone? Welcome to Trailer Spot, and today we will be talking about the best upcoming movies. Deadpool 3 writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick offer an update on the script and what it's like working under Disney's supervision. After making his debut in the much maligned X-Men Origins Wolverine, Ryan Reynolds' beloved Deadpool was rebooted in 2016, with the film earning positive reviews from both audiences and critics. The film's success at the box office led to Deadpool 2 getting the green light, a film that proved similarly successful both in terms of critical reception and box office revenue. The first two Deadpool films were made, while the cinematic rights to the X-Men characters were still with 20th Century Fox. With Disney's acquisition of the studio in 2019, many fans wondered whether there would be a place for Reynolds' titular character in the MCU. Thankfully, it's since been confirmed that not only is Deadpool 3 in the works, but the film will once more be rated R, with both Reese and Wernick returning to pen the script after writing the first two. Despite the recent confirmations, the question still remains about how Deadpool will fit into the MCU outside of his upcoming solo film, especially with all the other Disney Marvel films being aimed at family audiences. In a new interview with the discussing film, Reese and Wernick provide an update on the script and how work is progressing under Disney's watchful eye. Reese explains that Disney has been very hands-off and supportive throughout the whole process and that he and Wernick have been given free reign to develop their original vision, maintaining the same tone as the original films. Overall, they say the experience has been a blast. The gears are starting to turn at Marvel Studios for Captain America 4, as Julius Ona has signed on to direct. The upcoming chapter in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is expected to continue the story of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier in which Anthony Mackie's Sam Wilson grappled with his internal conflict over whether to carry on the Captain America mantle, as Steve Rogers asked him to in Avengers Endgame. The final episode of the Disney Plus series would see Sam combine his Falcon suit with that of a Captain America design and wielded Steve's iconic vibranium shield. Development on Captain America 4 was first announced in early 2021 the same day as the Falcon and the Winter Soldier's finale, as the show's head writer Malcolm Spellman and another series writer Delon Moussan were brought on to pen the script for the film. Word would remain largely quiet on the MCU sequel in the year that followed, with Mackie teasing that he was getting back into superhero shape in the hopes of beginning production on the film soon. After a few months of preparation, it looks like Mackie may be back to work for Captain America 4 in the near future. The Hollywood Reporter has brought word that Captain America 4 has found its director in Julius Ona. The filmmaker is best known for directing the Netflix sci-fi thriller The Cloverfield Paradox and the social thriller Loose. No production start date has been revealed for Captain America 4. Anna de Armas provides an update about the John Wick spin-off movie, Ballerina. The Cuban-born actress has turned into a major star over the past several years. She had a role in Blade Runner 2049 in 2017 and went on to play the lead role of Maria Cabrera in Knives Out in 2019. Since then, de Armas has starred in action movies such as No Time to Die and The Gray Man. The actress will also portray Marilyn Monroe, in Andrew Dominic's NC-17 Rated Blonde. De Armas will continue her star status in her lead role in Ballerina. Ballerina is an action film that exists in the John Wick universe. It will likely feature Keanu Reeves as well and release after John Wick Chapter 4's 2023 release. Ballerina is directed by prominent action movie talent Len Wiseman who has worked as a writer, producer, and or director on films such as Underworld and Total Recall. John Wick Chapter 3 writer Shea Hatton is also suspected to return to the universe with Ballerina. The story will follow De Armas as a female assassin who seeks revenge against the people who killed her family. De Armas now announces that her and the Ballerina team have hired a female writer for the film. According to Elle, De Armas felt it vital to hire a female writer on the project ever since she joined the production. After interviewing like five or six female writers, 
the ballerina team hired female actress, director, and Oscar-winning screenwriter, Emerald Fennell. Will Tom Holland's Spider-Man get a new love interest in the next Spidey movie? As we all know, the fate of the superhero at the end of Spider-Man No Way Home was a bit sad. No one, including Zendaya's MJ, remembered who he was. When his character walked into the cafe where she worked and didn't recognize him, it was a sob fest. Now, talks about a fourth standalone movie on the wall crawler have begun. Several fans demanded another part after the massive success of No Way Home. As per some sources, the foundation for the future of Peter Parker in the Marvel Cinematic Universe has already been laid. However, Tom is yet to sign the dotted line. Fresh rumors by Moth Culture are that Spider-Man 4, if it happens, may not reunite Zendaya's MJ as Tom Holland's Peter's love interest. Moreover, a new character, Firestar, may be established and there may be a new romance developed between Spidey and the red-headed mutant. Not just that, it is said that the new character will introduce Parker to X-Men. Ghostface returns to theaters with the sixth installment in the Scream franchise next year, and this time the surviving characters are heading to New York. The film is already deep into production, and yet the entire cast has not been revealed. In fact, Bloody Disgusting has reported that horror maven Samara Weaving has joined the cast of Scream 6 alongside Spider-Man Homecoming and No Way Home's Tony Rivalori. Scream 6 is scheduled for release on March 31st, 2023. A new deal between Netflix and the Duffer Brothers includes putting a new adaption of Death Note into development. Death Note, which is now a sprawling franchise that spawns continents and various forms of media, began as a manga series by writer Sugumi Oba and artist Takeshi Obata. It follows a young man named Light Yagami, who discovers a notebook that will cause the death of anybody whose name is written in its pages. Safeguarded by the demonic Shinigami known as Ryuk. Thus begins a cat and mouse game with the authorities, as Light gets drawn further and further into the intoxicating pool of his new power over life and death. Death Note was adapted into an anime series several years after its original publication. Although that show only lasted 37 episodes, the legacy of Death Note looms large in popular culture, and it was later adapted into a novel, video games, four live-action Japanese films, and two Japanese series. Although most English-language Death Note material has merely been translated, there was an American film adaption of the property, helmed by Godzilla vs. Kong director Adam Wingard, that came to Netflix in 2017, starring Nat Wolf as Light and Willem Dafoe as Ryuk. According to Deadline, the Duffer Brothers, who created the immensely popular Netflix series Stranger Things, have struck a brand new deal with the streamer. They have formed a new partnership called Upside Down Pictures that is to be run by Hilary Levitt and made a brand new deal with Netflix that includes producing a bunch of new titles. One of the projects on their slate is a brand new adaption of Death Note. Merchandise for Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, gives a first look at Ironheart's MCU costume. For months, there were reports that Dominique Thorne, the actor cast as the superhero Ironheart, would appear in the follow-up to Black Panther. These were confirmed when Thorne celebrated rapping production in an Instagram post in March this year. Black Panther 2 director Ryan Coogler's production company, Proximity, is also involved in the upcoming Ironheart Disney Plus TV show, further linking the properties. Story details for Black Panther Wakanda Forever are currently something of a mystery, with Marvel remaining tight-lipped ahead of San Diego Comic-Con. Ironheart's debut as heir to Tony Stark's Iron Man legacy adds another dimension to the film and a character who does have some ties to the nation of Wakanda in the comics. There, Riri Williams is a scientific genius who invented her own Iron Man armor and became a superhero in her own right, swiftly earning the friendship of Black Panther's sister, Shuri. There's been some speculation. The MCU version of Riri will be involved in the Wakandan outreach program T'Challa that began in the first Black Panther film. 
Leaked merchandise for Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, gives viewers a first look at the MCU's Ironheart armor. It's very different from the comics, bearing more similarities to Tony Stark's Mark I armor. Which makes sense, given the character is usually portrayed as an MIT student who has reverse engineered the Iron Man armor. It's dominated by a distinctive heart-shaped Iron Man-inspired arc reactor, which presumably explains Ironheart's codename in the MCU. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.